And let's start with our top story. This are uh, the pressure is today on the push for Ghana's High Commissioner to to resign or be sacked. That pressure is intensifying. Mr. Boateng himself has defended his comments despite the widespread public condemnation that he'd received. He's also told students, uh, a student wing of the governing NPP that he will put NPP members first in the helped him that height. The comment uh, President The new Patriotic Party set an agenda for jobs in 2016 as they campaigned vigorously for a change in government. After winning the mandate to rule, President Ekufuado gave strong indications that all Ghanaians, no matter their lineage or political affiliation, fully benefit from state resources. We must restore integrity in public life. State coffers are not spoiled for the party that wins an election, but resources for the country's social and economic development. I ask you to be citizens, citizens, not spectators, citizens, not subjects, responsible citizens, building your communities and our nation. I will serve the public interest with courage. I will speak for greater justice as well as compassion, and I will comp call for responsibility, and I will live it as well. This is my solemn pledge. Thank the Almighty that I'm able to say with pride, I am a Ghanaian. However, comments from leading members of the MPP seem contrary to what the president has been preaching. Here is Acting General Secretary John Boadu. There are others that didn't believe that the MPP can deliver. There are others when Nana Adudankwa Okufuado over the years was saying that there's a need for rest to have free SHS. There are others that didn't believe. So if now we are implementing it and there will be one pot meal, one pot meal per school, you want me to give the contract to an NDC person who didn't believe it? No. We will give it to somebody who believes in the program and policy so that we can deliver our uh, objective. That's all that we are talking about. So it is, for instance, then DC had had implemented the school feeding program for some time now. People are complaining about it. Their term of office has ended. The term has ended. So if they are recruiting different caterers, obviously, and people as we are, we even know how to cook better. You understand? So there's nothing wrong in getting our people to be part of this government program, especially where our people are the ones who believe in Akufuado's vision, who believe in the MPP vision. And now, George Ayisib Wating, the president representative in South Africa. The job market is huge, and it is highly competitive. This government is doing its best to create job opportunities. And me, for instance, I told my report over there that uh, my first meeting with them, I told them that it is because of MPP that I'm here. So MPP man is my priority. Yeah. I told them when MPC was in power, it was because he was there. Now we are in power, so I see what is here with you. My pra top most priority is the problem of an MPP person before any other guy here. Take it or leave it. I said, hey, 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 Mambo, and I said it. If I have my way, every job opportunity that will come to go to a test a one member before any other person. And uh, I know I know my colleague appointee also have the same feeling. I said that because of IMF, we cannot do anything now. So a special member is my priority. MPP member is my priority. You told me other Ghanaian. We are all Ghanaian, but some are more Ghanaian than others. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, I don't know how you feel, whether, whether you are more Ghanaian than, uh, more Ghanaian than others, but the comments have actually angered many Ghanaians, and they are demanding his dismissal. Well, we picked some views from the streets of Accra and Kumasi. Let's hear that from Kumasi. It was a very, it, it was a very bad comment he made, because we, we, have, we have gone to the election, we voted, we, we, we know who, who came to power, and it's Nanado. So now, now that we have we have finished voting, we are Ghanaians. We don't have MPP government. We have, don't have any government. We are Ghanaians. So mm, I don't support him because we are all Ghanaians. And so we are talking about Ghanaians, not NDC and MPP. So I don't support him. Yeah. They need some position to to help their mouth to. So if they they happen them some to maybe it can be good for us. So you think he, what he said is right? Yeah, it's true, it's true. Maybe. I take it. The High Commissioner is there for all the Ghanaians. But since you say you employ the MPP members before the Ghanaians, that means you are there for the only the MPPs. But not that. Since you are Ghanaian and you are using the Ghanaian money to pay you the Ghanaian money to do everything for you there, you are there for the whole Ghana. And he, he wants to say that, to promise the uh, MPP members. Oh, I think he shouldn't have made that statement because we are all Ghanaians and when a position is being shared out, it shouldn't be partisan but it should be patriotic so that the normal Ghanaians, everyone will know that we are not like any CHTM, SID, It is good. I like the, I like the, the man you speak. The way the man you speak, I like it. Why? Why do you like it? Maybe he's thinking about the, the country. Well, he is not the only one who likes the thing that the man has said. I have a group who like what, they, what he has said, and I'm coming to have a very quick conversation with them. Joining me in the studio will be George Krobia Sante. He is one of, the test, uh, uh, one of the TESCOM presidents right after this. Please stay with us. Many thanks for staying with us. You're welcome back to the show. Now in the studio with me, like I promised you earlier, is George Krobia Sante. He's former TESCON president, Gimpa Kumasi, and he's one of uh, some former TESCON members who have thrown their weight behind Mr. A.C. Boateng. And I'm going to read to you their statements, uh, which were their press statements, which they've just released. Let me start by reading it for you. It says, we the... So first of all, the, 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 the subject or, yeah, the subject is, we are proud of you. H.E. A.C. Boateng, past test president in Ashanti region, says, we, the past test president, bring you greetings from our homes. Although, and I want you to pay critical attention to this part that I'm going to read. Although unemployed and waiting patiently for the right time to be fixed, we wish to state emphatically that we are very proud of you, His Excellency A.C. Boateng, the High Commissioner to South Africa. We have heard and read diverse backlash and attacks from the, quote, babies with sharp teeth in the position regarding your statement as at a TESCOM meeting in Kumasi, at Kumasi Technical University, that TESCOM members are your priority. And to that extent, NP, NPP members, Onipenya, as, all right, there's another one. It says, you have been our source of inspiration during our days in the position, and you continue to inspire us. Traveling from South Africa to attend our program alone tells us to do more since there is hope for the future because we are, because we are always remembered by you. That's also another point that I want you to take critical um, note of. Onipenya, affectionately called, has... Uh, proven beyond reasonable doubt that he has TESCON members at heart. And we also pledge to present any time you call, to be present any time you call on us. We are going to be present. It is our fervent hope. Okay, so they go on and on and on. And let me quickly move to what they, re they write to past TESCON leaders. Say, we shall by this call on, f we shall by this call on former and past TESCON leaders in government to turn to TESCON members and aid us since they are our source of inspiration. We shall, however, for, forever be grateful to the likes of lawyer Justin Kodrian Frimpong, CEO of YE, that, that is a youth employment agency, lawyer Henry Nanabwache, a.k.a. Nanabi, deputy CEO of NSS, National Service Secretariat, Mr. Nelson Ousuansa, a Shanti regional youth organizer and the YE director, and many others for their immense support to TESCON in Ashanti. We recognize your efforts. They have made TESCON members their priority. 
and we really appreciate it. To the opposition NDC, you are saying that our only advice is to con for them to concentrate on fixing their tattered party, as the KB's report is suggesting, and stop creating something out of nothing, because we all saw how they treated our Tain counterparts. Okay. The statement that we just received from the past test conferences in the Ashanti region, like I indicated, I already have in the studio here uh, George, who is representing them. I also have on the telephone line Okujetua Blakwa, who was former, he's been former Minister of Education but at, the, at the moment. He is a, um, is, let me just describe him as Member of Parliament for Notong. Sir, thank you very much for your time here on the show. Thank you very much. Let me just start with the gentleman in the studio with me at the, at the moment. And I'm, I want to quickly find out from you. I've seen this uh, statement that you released, and it sounds very personal. It sounds patronizing, it sounds personal, and it sounds like you're really saying this because you want to be fixed, like you say in your very first paragraph. Okay, thank you very much, um, Gifty, for the opportunity you've given us. And I must say greetings to um, your lovely uh, viewers out there. Our statement is never discriminatory, nor very personal, just as you indicated. But all that we're seeking to do is that we want to encourage party youth, we want to encourage party members to continue to work hard for the party. And if anybody decides to do this to motivate the youth of the party, I personally don't see anything wrong with it. And in any case, what function did the man attend? His Excellency Aisi Watson was on a purely sponsored party function. Okay. When you talk of TESCON, we're talking about Tertiary Education Confederacy of the MPP. Mm. It is a body in our tertiary institutions that seeks to champion the ideologies of our party MPP. And having met this youth, all that the man can do or can say to encourage and motivate them, mm. is to assure them that there's a brighter future for them. So it's, a, it's just words of enticement, but, and that it doesn't really mean It was what a motivational said. speech. Motivational speech. And again, okay. it was in order. Okay. Um, now, now let, hold on. Uh, let me just hold, 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 on, hold you there briefly. Um, if you say it was motivational, and that it gives you hope, you have gone to university. Your colleagues have gone to university. And what we seek to do in this country when we put people in universities is, for, is to develop their brains. So they look out for the people in society. To what extent are you looking out for people in society when you are calling such a speech, which is obviously discriminatory, obviously unconstitutional? You call that motivational? Thank you very much, Gifty. That is where people like Honorable Okija Tabraka were getting it all wrong. The man did not just start it by saying Tesco should be given priority or MPP youth should be considered as the only Ghanaians okay. or as Ghanaians more than other section of our people. But that's what he said. The statement was, the man was advising the student. He mentioned three Ds, which talks about development, it talks about dissemination, and it talks about defense. Let me pick them one by one. I must we, 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 we'll have to, you know, be a bit quick with it so that we can be able to, we understand that the member of parliament, uh, the ranking member of the Foreign Affairs Committee, who I have on the line, has to go for a meeting. So, you say he got it wrong. At what point... I never you, said the man got it no, wrong. you say Okuj, uh, um, Okuja the member of parliament, yes, got it wrong. Had it wrong. Why yeah. do you say so? Because, so can because our, His Excellency Aisi Boateng spoke about the need for the party youth to develop their capacity. He spoke about the need for the party youth to follow government so as they will be able to explain the policies of the government to their peers, wherever they found themselves. Then the man again spoke about defending the party's policies or the government policies, since that is the government they themselves formed. I see. I get in it. I see. Let me, let me bring you in, sir, uh, uh, Mr. Kujeto Ablakwa. What, what are your thoughts? What, what, how do you react to this? Well, thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to the young man here in the studio. And uh, good afternoon to our distinguished viewers across the globe. First of all, we need to appreciate the fact that so many officials of the current government and leaders of the new patriotic party have addressed 
TESCON function. I'm sure the young man in the studio, I, I, I didn't hear his, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get his name. His name is George Krobia. Krobia George Asante. Krobia. Thank you for the assistance. Yeah. So I'm sure that uh, Mr. Krobia Asante will attest to the fact that even on that day, that very platform that was organized, there were many speakers. Why is it that there is only one speaker that has outraged the nation so much? Go to social media, listen to Ghanaians, listen to decent-minded Ghanaians all over in Ghana, in South Africa, and all over the world. Ghanaians are outraged, and they are outraged justifiably so, because you cannot defend the statement that the, the His Excellency George A.C. made that right. Well, if well, one of the defenses, if sir, if I may just budge in briefly, one of the defenses yes. which this group of TESCON leaders are putting forward is that they saw how people like you dealt with TAIN members. You know, TAIN is like their counterpart. So they saw the kinds of things that you told them and the kinds of uh, perhaps promises that you made to them. They feel that perhaps this man, um, Mr. Isi Boateng, has just only... Uh, reinforced something that's already happening in society and that he oh, only puts those he puts those in words the young man with the mr Asante Asante, as i say Krobia, uh, is clearly on a slippery slope i really pity him that he will put his face and will uh, allow himself to be used to defend such uh, an atrocious act Right. And uh, he is a young man who wants to uh, have a great future. He should not defend their defenses. When you join a political party, it's not everything you defend. When they put you out there, that go and defend their defenses. Tell them that you also have a name. You also want to be a high commissioner one day. So you don't defend their defenses. You don't disgrace yourself. Mm. And you do not... You do not Put yourself up for a problem. Are we not? Are we not reaping? Before, before, are we not reaping the fruits system, of? Are we not re reaping the fruits of a system, a, a, a very wrong system, which you helped perpetrate at the time that you were, you know, engaging most of these young people in school? Wouldn't you say that because the sort of treatment that you gave to train my, people? My, my, my dear, my dear sister, uh, the name of the game is evident. I have spoken at several train events. You will never hear me say these things. I will never say these things. That some Ghanaians are more Ghanaian than others. Right. I will never say such a thing. My wife is from the Upper West Region. I'm MP in a constituency in the Volta Region. I believe that all Ghanaians are equal. I will never. And if I organize a program, as a, as a, as if I was a Tain executive, and I organized a program, and you came spewing such divisive, incendiary way. I'll walk up to you and say, Sir, please, it's not why we invited you. Mm. In, this, in this meeting, we don't have only Ashantis or only Voltarians or only Nordness who are here as members of our party. Okay. We cut across. We are all one people. So bottom so line, there are sir, calls for him to resign sense. or be sacked. And uh, yes. as, as, as a ranking member on the uh, Foreign Affairs Committee, I believe this is something that you back strongly. What is going to happen from now? I am told that he is still belligerent and bellicose and uh, uh, continues to say that he has done nothing wrong and he will not uh, apologize uh, and retract the statement and that he is not going to resign. Mm. So now, uh, clearly, His Excellency President Nama Adodako Akufuado will have to act. He will have to show his ambassador the door. This is a public official who has absolutely no understanding of what it means to be a public official. Okay. We are talking about South Africa, where there have been regular xenophobic attacks. Mm. If we allow this High Commissioner to be there, and God forbid there's another xenophobic attack, and Ghanaians are running to the High Commission to seek refuge, this man is going to be at the entrance demanding party cards. Meanwhile, you are paid by all taxpayers. And tell the young man there, the test corner again, that it's not only NPP who. Votes of TESCOM members who brought them to power. 
NPP, NDC, we don't have enough vote to propel us to victory. You always must appeal to that 12% floating voter. Who, who, who would not bother getting party cards? So when you go and say that you are high commissioner, you are polluting and corrupting the foreign service staff. You, 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 you call a meeting and tell them that you are here for NPP members to solve problems of NPP members. And so if the person is not an NPP member, he can wait. Listen to the tape. Okay. What are the options you, you, available? You, you are destroying the fortunes of your party. And you don't put your face to such a thing. You don't travel from Kumasi. Uh, okay, because before, before I make you address my final and, question, and, let's and I want him to speak to what you have just indicated. The, 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 the Honorable Member of Parliament thinks that you're putting your life, your future in jeopardy by supporting this thing that, I mean, this act that, or this statement by the South African High Commissioner, which every, almost every Ghanaian seems to be condemning. Um, thank you very much, my dear. I'm very disappointed in our honorable member, Okuja Tabraka. Why? In fact, if there was anybody in our society called Ghana to condemn honorable or excellency, I see what it shouldn't be Okuja Tabraka. Why do you say so? And I want to cite it in case he's forgetting. Let me remind him. On 25th November 2009, the president then, uh, His Excellency John Ivan Satamos, directed that all public officials, ministers, DCEs, Deputy ministers, CEOs, should concentrate in serving ten members, giving priority to party. When did first. the president say that? Where he when, said it when? through a press conference organized by his spokesperson that time. It was Honorable Mahama Yariga. Where was Okuja I, I don't quite recall. You can you can cross check. I have given you the date, Daily Guide, twenty fifth November two thousand and nine, and Okuja Tabraka was still a Ghanaian. He was in Ghana. He saw it. Aside that, in 2000, prior to 20, 2014, um, World Cup, Honorable, um, that time, um, Deputy Sports Minister, Yamin, Joseph Yamin, gave a clear pronouncement that only NDC supporters are going to be flown to right. Germany. Where was Okuje Tabraka? He shouldn't be pitying me. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Okay, so he should keep his uh, sympathy to himself. I'm always what he has done nothing wrong. Very well. Uh, hold on for me. I'll come back to you since you're already in the studio. Dr. Alidu Seydu is a senior lecturer of political science uh, at the political science department at the University of Ghana. He joins us also briefly. Uh, please stay here on, on the show. Um, are you particularly enthused about the response or, you know, lack of it from the presidency over this matter? I'm sure you've been following. Yeah, I, I honestly, I think the, it may take time before the presidency responds. And I believe maybe they're still studying what happened or what the, uh, His Excellency, the High Commissioner to South Africa said. Mm. But honestly speaking, his statement and then the subsequent pronouncement that he has made is very worrying for Ghanaian citizens who are outside of this country. I think first, maybe... He's still not aware that the function of a high commissioner or an ambassador, one of the critical functions is to protect the interests of all Ghanaians in the country that he resides. That is one of his most important duties. So if you want to discriminate by looking at the partisan affiliation of citizens in that country, it is very worrying for the safety of our citizens in right. that particular country. And he's a battle. I think it's not... I think he said this to please the M MPP. But honestly speaking, it is rather creating, it will create so much disaffection towards the party. Mm. And maybe he's not aware of the voter dynamics of this country since the beginning of the fourth republic. The NDC or the MPP cannot win elections in this country by just having their core group of people voting for them. It's not possible, statistically. So there are some people that we call floating or rational voters who buy into the policy, good policies of the MPP and voted for them. That made them win, even up to 63%. It's not possible that only their supporters can give them that, that percentage of vote. Mm. So if I'm a rational voter and I voted for you and there's crisis in South Africa and I come and you won't treat me that way, so you won't treat me good because I don't have an MPP membership card, then it is going to be create a lot of, uh, what is it, disaffection. Right. So this certainly has And I just want to make one last point Please. about what the, the other member said, that the MPP do at some uh, they said uh, whatever. Uh, the NDC, yes. Look, it's simple. 
Why did we vote MPP? Why, sorry, why did they vote NDC out? Because Ghanaians were not happy with what is going on. Right. If you come and you are repeating the same thing and then you refer to the fact that the NDC did the same thing, then it means you also want to go out. Okay. That is what it means. You right. are voted to correct the mistakes, not to repeat them. Not to repeat them, to correct the mistakes. Sir, thank you so much. Dr. Ali Duseidu, the senior lecturer at the Political Science Department of the University of Ghana. Finally, finally, what options are available to Ghanaians if the presidency continues to remain silent on this matter? Well, thank you very much. If I may, uh, there are a number of issues that have come up that I would want to respond to quickly. If we could do that briefly, say, I'll be grateful. Yes, I'll do that very briefly. On the statement that His Excellency Professor Johnny Vagatamil is supposed to have made, we all recall, and the records are there. President Atamil spoke at the time that there was some agitation amongst food soldiers complaining about lack of access. President Mills directed all appointees to grant access to the NDC member, grant them access. He didn't say that grant them access at the expense of Ghanaians, at the expense of other Ghanaians. That is not what President Mills, God bless his soul, said. It's, it's, the context is different. There are two different scenarios that you cannot compare. And as the professor said, even let's take it just for the sake of argument, that what Professor Mills, God bless his soul, did was wrong. Does it give you justification to repeat it and to say publicly that some Ghanaians are more Ghanaian than others? Who are those Ghanaians? Let's look at the options are, available. Are, are now, people Ghanaians? are calling for who him to be, for, to be either sacked or, for, or that he does what they would deem the honorable thing by resigning. Quickly, sir. What options he, are you bringing up, for example, in the Parliament? Options are, the options are clear. Uh, the High Commissioner is still belligerent, so the President will have to show him the door. He will have to be recalled immediately. Uh, we have discussed as a minority in Parliament, and we are also considering uh, options uh, so far as the Constitution and the standing orders are concerned. There are a number of options available to us, which we will trigger very soon if we see inertia on the part of the executive. If the, the president and the foreign minister do not take action. We will then have to uh, escalate and take uh, the other options available to us so far as uh, standing orders and the constitution of Ghana will permit us uh, to carry out. That is what we are going to do uh, in, this, in this matter. Okay, sir, thank you very much for your time here on the polls. I've been speaking with Honorable Member of Parliament for Notong Mokujetua Blakwa there about his thoughts. Let me finish up with you here in the studio. So you're obviously waiting to be fixed. You're jobless? I'm working. You're working? You were fixed? I was even working before our party came into the What do you do, sir, if I may ask? I work in Metro Mass Transport. Metro Mass Transport. Yeah. So it's obvious that you, were, you, you, you got that job when the NPP came to power. No, I started working during the time of uh, Professor John Evans at Oh, so? Yeah, I gave my job at, on merit. But let me say this. Let me say this. To ask Honorable Aisi Boateng, people are taking him out of context. He never said that it is only NPP youth who are Ghanaians. Mm -hmm. After he gave series of advice to the youth, then he motivated them by saying that, given the chance, he's going to make MPP youth, and for that matter, Tescon his priority. Are you getting it? And the question we need to ask ourselves, is Tescon members not Ghanaians? Are they not Ghanaians? Are they from Togo? Are they from Benin? They are also Ghanaian. Within the set called Ghana, there are subsets. The NDC, the MPP, the floating voters, and th 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 those things. Okay. So if somebody should say, given the priority, or given the chance, I am going to prioritize the needs and concern of MPP youth. I don't see anything wrong with it. And for those okay. calling on the, on the head of um, His Excellency, I see what I think. I don't think His Excellency Nana Dodangwa is going to hit to their core. Well, we'll see, well, there, are, there are a lot of options available to them. They, so can, we'll employ, see how they can employ all options, but I can tell Okuja Tua Blackwa and their life Likewise, mandate people that there's no way the president is going to hit to their core we'll because see how His they... Excellency has done nothing wrong. We'll see how that goes. His Excellency certainly hasn't done anything wrong, but people expect to hear the presidency on this matter. I've been speaking with George Krobia Asante. He is uh, one of the past TESCOM presidents, right? Uh, at the moment, working. But of course, it's, it's instructed to note that in their, in their uh, statement, they're expecting some jobs and some fixing somewhere.